the compressor of this mini split AC starts, but the fan stops. Sometimes it starts working, but sometimes it stops while working. And sometimes, it does not even work. Now I will turn on the unit, and as you can see, the outdoor unit has also turned on, and the flaps of the indoor unit have opened. You can see the operation green light is glowing and working fine. At this point, the compressor of the outdoor will start. As you can see, the compressor has started, and the fan has also started working. And see, the fan has suddenly stopped working, which is the problem we discussed earlier. Let's fix the problem. This mini split is from Fujitsu company. Now I will make you understand the fan circuit diagram, and it will be easier to repair the PCB. I have drawn the schematic diagram here, and now I will explain how it works. This fan connector contains 1 to 7 pins, but the connector pins used in this fan connector are 5, which are 1, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2 and 3 are omitted. This red and the first number pin should contain 320 DC volts, and the fan will work properly, otherwise, it will not work. As you can see, the black and the four number pin is directly grounded, but if, due to some reason, the ground wire is missing, still the motor will not work. The next is the white and the fifth number pin. It should contain 15 DC volts, and the fan motor will work, otherwise, it will not work properly. Except this, a capacitor number C801 is connected between 4 and 5 pins to control the electric spikes. And if this capacitor is short-circuited for some reason, we will not get filtered 15 DC volts, and the fan motor will not work. The next pin is yellow, and the number is 6th. This pin is connected to the operating circuit, through which this motor is operated, and controls the speed of the motor. As you can see, it is connected to the resistance R800, and its value is 22 kilo ohms. The next is R801, which is 27 kilo ohms. It is different in different models, and diodes are added to the circuit used for safety purposes in some units. But in this model, they have used fewer components because this is a one-ton mini-split AC, which is why the fan circuit is designed this way. And here, the capacitor C800 of 4.7 microfarads and 50 volts is installed, and if it is short-circuited, still the fan will cause problems. Because when the operating voltages will pass through the capacitor, it will not work properly due to getting short-circuited. Here in the circuit, two transistors are used, but they are not normal. They are special transistors that have built-in resistance connected to them. And if you install a normal transistor in case, it will not work. On the other hand, it will damage the motor and the microcontroller. As the transistor generates pulses that flow towards the connector pin number 6, and this is how the motor increases and decreases the speed. And all this operation is controlled from the microcontroller pin number 2. One is a PNP, and the other is an NPN transistor in this circuit. The NPN transistor is grounded from the emitter pin, and the collector of the NPN is attached to the base of the PNP transistor. This way, it is working. The next is the brown and the 7 number pin of the fan connector. The motor feedback is generated from this pin, which enters the fan in at the microcontroller pin number 17, and this is how the function is completed. And now, I will check the voltages properly to check what the situation is in this PCB. Now I will give the electric supply to the PCB board. As I passed electricity through the PCB, it started switching, and I will check all the voltages. Now I have attached the positive probe at pin number 1 of the fan connector and the negative probe at the ground pin number 4, and as you can see, the multimeter is showing 316 DC volts. Now we will check the 15 volts by placing the positive probe at pin number 5 and the negative probe on the ground at pin number 4, we are getting 15 volts here. Now I will check the last pin of the connector by placing positive probe at pin number 7, we are getting 5 volts here. Now I am checking the second last pin, which is the control pin of the fan connector, and we are not getting any voltages at the control pin. So, we will check the NPN and PNP transistors, if needed. I will change them. Except for this, now I will check the resistance of 22 kilo ohms and 27 kilo ohms. The capacitor number C800 is 4.7 microfarads, as I have told you before, I will change this too. Now that I have repaired the PCB, 
I will show you what things I replaced in the control board after demonstrating this. Let me turn on the unit. So what happens is that the fan motor starts the first, 5 seconds before the compressor, and as in the start of the video, you saw the compressor started first and then the fan, and suddenly stopped while working. But now we have fixed it together. See, now the fan is working first, and after 3 to 4 seconds, the compressor has also started. You notice that the compressor is vibrating. Now the fan will keep working and not stop. Now, what components did I change in the control board? The problem was with the control voltages of the control board. So I have changed this capacitor. Let me zoom in. As you know, I have replaced the capacitor with 4.7 microfarads and 63 volts, but before, the capacitor contained 50 volts. Besides this, I have replaced the resistance number R800, whose value is 22 kilo ohms. The resistor R800 and capacitor C803 are parallel to each other, and it had no capacitor installed in it, so I soldered the resistor on C803, and this is how I fixed the fan problem in this inverter mini split unit. Click on the left or right thumbnail on the screen to watch our next videos. And subscribe. It's free. Thank you.